Okay, playing the gaps, you're not gambling. All you're doing is clogging this driving lane up for Jalen Brunson so his dribble has to get picked up. So you just stunt. You're, you're there. Evan Mobley's there. Stunt. You don't have to move your feet. Recover. But what? First of all, Evan Mobley's moving his feet inward. And second of all, look at all this gambling. The dribble's already picked up. God. Okay, if you're Evan Mobley, you know that you have to come this way. All right, Darius Garland's coming this way, and he needs to, he does need to say that. You have to communicate, but Evan Mobley's here, okay? So, And you got to say something. By the way, this player's also in the gaps. So Donovan Mitchell can't play off Julius Randle. Get up. Help here. Help here. I, just can't happen. What is Donovan Mitchell doing? You need to get back level to your man. What? Why are you slow? Why are you slowing down here? Okay, you can still be in help side. First of all, your back can't be to the sideline. It needs to be to the baseline. But keep, come down here, sprint down here, be level to your man. Like you slowing down. God, gotta stop playing off at, uh, Julius Randle here. First of all, I did no. Get your back to the baseline so you're in help side this way. You also have Jared Allen literally double, ready to double. Why are you continuing to play off Julius Randle? Cannot fall asleep on R.J. Barrett. You can see this Cavs player staring at the ball. How does R.J. Barrett, look at this, falling asleep. Fall, look at R.J. Barrett's up here. You haven't moved. Bad defense. Three points. Okay, you get to the nearest body in transition. You, you throw matchups out the window. Is Karis LeVert guarding Julius Randle in the half court? Uh, probably not. But in transition, you got You're here. Go there. Well, when you worry about matchups in transition, this is what happens. Another Julius Randle three. What is Kevin Love doing? Why is Kevin Love down here? You're guarding Obi Toppin. Get up the line. Look at this. <laughs> you're standing in no man's land. So look what happens. Now Obi Toppin catches the ball. So now you've got to take a step up. While he has the ball in his hands. Oops, that means he's going to blow right by you. You suck at defense. Not ask Ricky Rubio to have to guard Emmanuel Quigley fighting over the top of the screen. Get up and push Quigley out of here. I have backside. The Knicks spacing is garbage. I have backside help right here. Look what you're asking. You're asking Ricky Rubio to guard Quigley coming from over the top. It's not fair. It's not going to happen. Okay, there's like a thousand things wrong here. Why is Evan Mobley doubling? R.J. Barrett's already got his dribble picked up. This player's doing just fine guarding one-on-one. -on -one. So you double for no reason, okay? So that means Ricky Rubio's got to leave his man here to come down so this drop-off pass can't happen. Okay, so that, that shouldn't have happened. All right, now, Ricky Rubio's got to know, as soon as this pass gets made, you got to be sprinting out now. Like, you can't wait. Look at Rubio, and this is a little nonchalant, Ricky. You, you gotta be sp <laughs> So now you can't guard I mean, the whole thing. Calves are crap. You do not guard like this away from the ball. Look at this Cavs player right here. First of all, back to the sideline. Eh, you gotta have your back to the baseline. Second, why are you hugging the three-point line? Again, right here. Right foot parallel of the block, left foot out wide stance. So then when this player comes this way, there's a second defender. I'm stunting. I'm not moving my feet inward. So I will always be able to recover back outward. But nope, look at this gap you give up. Go away. Is not fair to ask Karis LeVert to guard like this. Stop. Why can't I hedge and get Brunson out this way? Backside help here. Skip past plenty of time to recover. It's just not fair. You're asking Karis LeVert to somehow guard one-on-one -on -one like this. It's just not fair. It's just not fair. It isn't fair. This is a horrible gamble by Darius Garland. Stop. Jared Allen ha is guarding the ball right now, okay? So please, get, first of all, get your back to the base. You can't guard like this. You have no idea what's going on with your man. Get your back to the baseline, okay? Then you can stunt and recover. But Darius Garland isn't doing any of those... That is a gamble. You have no idea what's going on with your man. You suck at defense. What is Jared Allen doing, okay? Evan Mobley's coming here to dig in the post, and he does a great job of it. Jared Allen, please stay home so this player can stay home, so this player can stay home. What? Look at this. Evan Mobley, look at that post dig right there. Beautiful. Why is Jared Allen... You're standing in no man's land. 
You just ruined the entire defensive set. This is an unreal amount of no effort from Kevin Love. Yo, please get back. Sprint back. There's no way possible this Knicks player gets ahead of you. Only if you're just not trying, you idiot. Get off the floor. This might be the worst ball screen defense I've ever seen. So you're in drop coverage. I hate drop coverage when it's executed right because it's such a flawed defensive ball screen scheme. Okay, but if you're going to run this idiocy, at least run it somewhat right. Karis LeVert has to go over the top of the screen. He can't go under. Kevin Love's got to stay underneath the ball. Jalen Brunson cannot turn the corner. Okay, let's take a look. Karis LeVert went under the screen. Kevin Love lets Jalen Brunson turn the corner. <clears throat> What's Karis LeVert doing here? Why is he feeling out of screen that doesn't get set? Julius Randle is setting a screen on Evan Mobley. But Karis LeVert is feeling out of screen. There's no screen. Whoa. What just happened there? The Cavs are horrendous. This is why you never guard above the three-point line away from the ball, okay? This screen gets set out here. All Karis LeVert has to do is go under, okay? That's it. This Knicks player is not jacking a three from here, okay? So just be underneath. You're in the gaps. Everything's fine, okay? But look what happened. Well, first of all, Karis LeVert's going to lean towards the screen early, which you can never, ever do, okay? But if Evan Mobley's just where he's supposed to be, there's nothing to worry about. Yet Evan Mobley's got to sprint down. Now his feet are taking him inward. <sighs> hey, it appears that Ricky Rubio is doing what you cannot do, leaning towards this screen. Look at Ricky Rubio. You can see him leaning towards the screen. Why are you doing that? I hate you. When all five Cavs players just stare at the shot, you're going to get cherry-picked, okay? So this shot goes up. Not everybody can go for an offensive rebound, okay? Either the shooter's got to sprint back or Darius Garland's got to sprint back. <clears throat> Both just stare at the shot. You know what happens next. Literally, just pull someone from the stands and they can score off this Cavs ball screen defense. Literally. just some, so One of you guys want to come in and play guard for a minute? Get up. Get this guard out. The, the Knicks spacing is trash. The backside defender's right here. Look at this. Look, get someone from the stands. They can do this. You never guard above the three-point line away from the ball. So you're rotating the ball. Karis LeVert is guarding the ball right now. Fine. Pass gets made right now. Stop. You need to be immediately getting to the three-point line. Okay? When you guard beyond the three-point line away from the ball, there's a really nice chance that this happens. Donovan Mitchell, you got to be smart. Stop. Right, you, Jared, and now, Jared Allen needs to say something, okay? But if you're Donovan Mitchell, just get up. The only way you can get beat is if Jalen Brunson spins this way or takes a step back. Force Jalen Brunson into this help. Jared Allen doesn't have to move. It's just dig, recover. But, <laughs> like the Cavs would be communicating or doing anything right defensively. Why is Jared Allen biting so hard on this? Let's take a look. So Julius Randle's going to fake like he's going to go back door. Okay, if you're Jared Allen, you have plenty of time to back up. Okay? Plenty of time. Why don't you give it a second and see what Julius Randle's going to do? Because he's not going back door. Yet you're flying backwards like you even had to do that. 